Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you a-okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. All you when you right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who are there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, we will be preparing for you a crusted, half a oven crusted chicken, roasted chicken, oven crusted or crusted oven roasted chicken, somewhere along the line there. I may I get confused. This recipe was shared with me by the great Kimmy from the Jamaican Mocha Bang. Now, I'm using a half of chicken. I guess you could use pieces. Or you could use one. I am using a half. I'm going to walk you through the steps that we're supposed to be doing. I'll be, I'm, I'm using a half, and as I said before, you could be using, cut up your pieces of chicken and do it just the same. So I'm using a half. For this recipe, you're going to need the chicken, whether in a half quarter all or how much one full cube, it doesn't matter. The, the, the meat we're using today, it's chicken. You could do it for pork. You add lamb, I don't know the one here, the story with the lamb. You could do it for pork, you could do it for fish, you could do it for, I think, beef and all of them something. We're going to be seasoning this chicken. We have some eggs here when we are going to get it into an egg wash. Then we are going to be using some seasoned breadcrumbs to do the final. And then we're going to put it into one of our roasting pans with one of these racks. So as it not to be direct on the surface and all like that. Okay? So that's what, that's the procedure in a lamb. So I've got here half of chicken. I have cleaned it. I have washed it properly. If you're not washed chicken, no problem. Do you, baby. Do you. I've got to wash my chicken. Now, I have prepared here. And you could season this chicken with your powdered seasoning of choice. You could use your herbs, whatever. You could marinate it in some form of liquid overnight, brine it, whatever. Then whatever. But season your chicken your way. Now, I have got here this chicken and what I have made for my chicken ear is some herbs I have them in here and I have used olive oil to break them down a bit to like more like a paste I've used the olive oil with the medicinal properties of olive oil I find that it breaks down the herbs more okay so this is what I have so I'm gonna get me my gloves on and I'll add that do your hand if you want to. And my seasonings in my herbs in there are I've used some celery, fresh celery, fresh green scallions. I've used some scotch bonnet pepper. I have used some garlic. And I think that was just about it. I put a little salt, not a lot. So, and I have used the olive oil with it to come to more like a little liquid. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be putting a few slits on my chicken not too deep because i want my seasonings to go down so i'm gonna be slitting the thigh and i'm also gonna put in about two slits on the breast this will enable what i'm using to go down in there as i seasoned and i think it's best with the skin skin on if you want to do yours with the skin off do it i don't know about that so if you want to ask, Miss Debbie, suppose me take off my skin. I don't know. You try it. Nothing beats a trial but a failure. So do it. And if it fail, you know what to do next time. Run in tail, but run so Put a little piece. So a, another little slit. Put a little slit on the wing. That's me, you know. That's just me. You don't have to do that. Now, I have got here this little herbs thing that I have prepared. Okay. And I'm going to use this to lather my chicken. This is what I'll be doing. This is how I'm seasoning mine. And you can do what you want in your neck of the woods, in a your district, in a your woodland, 
anywhere you are, do what? In a, your empire, in a, your palace, do what you want to do. So this is how I'll be treating mine from the back to the front. So I'm going to go finish this now and then I will return. And this is looking really pretty. Real, real pretty. May soon come. We are back and this is what is happening from one side to the other. Into them bones, as you know I like the bones and I like that. Under the wing, you know all the slits that I made. You're using this if this is the method that you're using. And you want to have it like on a slippery, with a slipper. Because I use the olive oil, it has this slipperiness. So you want to do it like that with your seasoning. You, this is not compulsory seasoning method, family. It's not a compulsory seasoning method. This is my method. So I've been doing this for about three minutes. For best flavor, Please do this overnight and then you're going to leave it in your refrigerator but you must secure it so as not to let all these herbs just take over the refrigerator because you know that will happen. Okay? I'm going to be leaving this for about 20 minutes. So, I leave it like that and I'm just going to put something over it to cover it. 20 minutes time, my kitchen is cool, my AC on, and now put it in a fridge. If you want to go put it in your refrigerator, go ahead. Okay? 20 minutes time, I will return to show you how we'll be proceeding to do this crusted oven bake chicken. Must soon come. Okay, now family, I'm back. I've got here some three eggs beaten. This is not an egg wash, just three beaten eggs. No water added, no milk or anything. I've got here some of my seasoned breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs is seasoned with dry herbs and there's a little romana, some cheese in there, okay? So if you don't want with cheese, you just get breadcrumbs without cheese. If you want, use plain breadcrumbs. But the seasoned breadcrumbs is a plus. And you don't must have to have in cheese. <clears throat> Not all seasoned breadcrumbs as in cheese. So to my seasoned breadcrumbs here, I added a little paprika. I wanted was to do some chili. I have some chili powder, but make it fine. So this is my chicken ear, and the very first thing that I'm going to be doing is removing these herbs because they have already seasoned my chicken. Remember, I did say in the prior clip, it is best to do this overnight, 24 hours, for best, best flavor, the best taste. So you want to remove all of these seasonings. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to return right back at you. Okay, now I have removed my seasonings. If you use powdered seasoning, you would have not anything to remove. So I'm going to be putting this now in the egg wash. And the egg wash is going to be like this. I'm going to be coating it all over in this egg wash. Not egg wash, in this beaten egg. No wash here. Okay? And at this time, your oven should be about preheated to 375 degrees um, Celsius or 1 one, one, oh no, 375 degrees far, well, 375 degrees what is that Celsius yes or whatever I'll work it out I'm getting a bit confused here I don't know what is happening can somebody help me 375 degrees Celsius how much Fahrenheit give me 180 Fahrenheit there about so now you have lathered it with this beaten egg. You want to drain it as much as possible. Okay? Drain it. Now that you have drained it, yeah, should have used your hand to incorporate this um, paprika in the seasoned breadcrumbs. So you want to be doing this now. Packing on your breadcrumbs. Let me get this out of the way. This is just wasting my breadcrumbs. And I had to do it. Bare hands here now. And you want to be packing this seasoned breadcrumbs onto your chicken. Okay. 
Degree okay, 180, degree 375, somewhere there about. Me deal with the Celsius in the sun. Okay. 190. Me just try to stick, stick to Celsius. 190 Celsius. Okay. There you have it. And Kim, me tell you. So look at what we are doing. We are going to be finishing this and return as we proceed with this chicken. Pat it on. You want to pat it on. You want it with a final crust. You know, so you're going to pat it on to this chicken that is there, that has the moisture from that season and also from the egg. So we are going to do this and return. Me soon come. Okay, now family, let me make sure I clarify all that stupidity, stupidity that I said in the prior clip. 175 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. I don't know what it happened, but that's menopause. That it happens at times. You know that. Now that we have done all of this, you want to have your roasting pan with your rack. And I just put a piece of paper for easy cleanup. But I did put some oil on my rack. That is to enable the chicken not to stick. You know? Because at some point, we are going, we might, you might want to turn over this chicken. But I'm going to be doing this right now. I'm going to be shaking my excess breadcrumbs. Just a little shake. And you see I have it from one side to the other. So you just want to put it to lie right down with the skin side up, skin side up. You might want to turn, you might not want to turn. Look at that color that we have and we're going to be using this color to go. If you want a little brighter color, I think you could put your a little more paprika or a little more whatever. This is the look. And as I said before, going into the oven, 175 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit for about one and a half hour. Close monitoring after the very first hour. When we return, the finished thing will be here. Mind you, this process, these now, you know, you're going to throw these away with the egg wash and the seasoning and all of that. Well, I, this makes sense to throw these out. We don't reuse these. Okay. And this process there with the breading process, I know it's messy. But please to use your hands. Because I think using a gloves or so would just have all the breadcrumbs sticking to the gloves as you saw what was happening right there. 1 hour and 30 minutes time, 175 degrees Celsius. Not in this workless one that I have. So I will not be able to show you it going into the, into the oven. Not this workless oven. A very up class oven. 175 degrees Celsius. 350 Fahrenheit, one and a half hour or put probably be less. Monitor your oven closely after the first hour. Next clip, I'll see you. Oh, we are back, family, and this is our finished product. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach, it is this crusted oven baked chicken. Please do enjoy. Now we have removed it from our pan. This is what our pan looks like with a rack and this is what happened in the bottom and we did remove it for plating and to show you and also for our thumbnail. Now if you have liked this video, remember to make sure that you give my video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so and when you do subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell. When you hit the bell, remember to press the, press the option all. Thanks for the love. Thanks for your continued support. Thank you and welcome once more to all my new um, subscribers, my new family members over here. Thank you so much for kind words. Thank you support so much for supportive comments. Thanks for the love. Remember all our information, PayPal, Cash App, email, and the link to our Teespring stores. 
We have got a little merch going on over there. We'll be in the description of the video. Thanks once more. Remember, be you, do you, and most of all, love you. Whenever you do this, happy cooking. Most of all, happy eating slash nyamming.